up or they'll find us. I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All right. Time to clean house. All right, here we are back in Final Fantasy XII. Now, I think I got the audio all set up a little bit better than what it was in the first video. I definitely got the graphics all set up a lot better than in the first video as well. Did some tweaking here and there, but uh, we should all be set. Now, we're in actual the beginning part of the game. Where we take over from two years after Dalmasca has fallen at Rex's younger brother, Vaughn. Now, I'm grabbing some rat pelts since uh, it, it's very good to start stealing. Uh, mugging whatever you can get really early on in the game because there's a lot of little items that get unlocked if you sell certain items to certain yeah. shop owners and they have them unlocked in a bazaar some of them are really good some of them are like like potion packs or whatever but yeah you get special stuff unlocked if you sell <laughs> Most of them are not repeatable. Wow, Vaughn, you got them all yourself. Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Let's test out to see how it goes. This cutscene gave me some trouble last time. Huh? What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir. You haven't paid, and I what? Haven't paid? Oh, 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 on second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod be. We don't want trouble today. There is some lag issues, it you looks like. Luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, Churl? Oh, my patch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! Ugh. Still slightly better than it was last time. Now, I don't know what causes it, though. It's definitely the emulator. Maybe I should have tried to benchmark the frame rate. What? Looks like the graphics hey, issue is mine. still there. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. 
Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Yep, definitely the emulator. It's either that or the, the Final Fantasy XII uh, BIOS, whatever you call it. Hmm. Well, even though there are basically no real relation... This is not really a love story type of Final Fantasy. You kind of can tell between those two that she likes him. Alright, what was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, it is best to steal as much as you can. Because you can get, like, enemies have rare items on them. You have, a, like, a small percentage chance of getting those. They also help out with, um, yeah, like I said, selling to certain shop owners. And they unlock goods as you continue on through the story. But there are some little special things to do. Like some actually use the same item for most stuff. So you can you can exploit it in some little way. Also, it is very good to talk to everyone. Everyone because who knows, you may run across a secret little hidden quest. And there's a lot of them in this game. You are getting into trouble with the Imperials again, Vaughn. I'll try and be careful. Not for your own sake, but for Miguelo and Pinello, okay? Ah, there are sure a lot of Imperials out today. Da -da -da. Hey, mister, you want to hear about the history of Ramanasa? It won't cost you much. Well, you gotta eat too, you know? Ah, uh, no, no. I need my guild just as much as you do. There's also, like, hidden secret areas and dungeons. Uh, this is by far one of the best Final Fantasies, in my opinion. One of the best best. Let's go ahead and come down here. Mainly because of what it adds. And all the liveliness that is around the towns. I mean, there's not like one... There's no little town here. Rabinaster is huge. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble on the desert. Now I have no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Uh -uh. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. What do you say? Uh, sounds wild. 
It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. I really like all the liveliness. All the odd species lying around. Like this lizard guy, and this giant pig guy with a horn on his head. I really do like the, the Final Fantasy XII Moogles. That's, that's not like a, a secret or anything. I really do like those. They are by far the coolest looking Moogles in any Final Fantasy. Check them out. Check out this little guy. Hey there, buddy. Alright, I guess we now have free reign to explore the city and explore the shops, which is what we're going to be doing. I need some magic, and I believe this this purple scepter thing is the magic shop. Because I need a heal. Oh, they're, they're still getting stuff in order. I can't have to look at the, the whole little tutorial about licenses and everything. I might as well get that done. Uh, the sand sea should be this way. There you are, kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A uh, creature spotted in Esther Sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Esther Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. So here's how it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need to be taken care of. Headhunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monster you'll be hunting is called your mark. Here is the bill I posted for the rogue tomato. The mark have been petitioned to be hunted. Do you want to hear all about the details? Now I know how all this stuff works, but uh, I guess maybe some of you don't, so yeah, let's go. Let's start with accepting hunts. You can't just look at the board and go running off to the mark, you'll miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill, the petitioner first. Let him know you're going on the hunt. So, take this rogue tomato bill, for example. I posted it, so I am petitioner. You have to come talk to me. Let's call that step done. Once your agreement is in place, the petitioner will tell you how to find the mock, then hunt it. Report back and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. The Clan Primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to could 
commemorate your first hunt. You obtain Orchia Amulet. Armlet. That looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for it. Think of licenses as mileposts, mocking your progress as your combat skills improve. Souls, bows, black magics, white magics, none of it does a lick of you any good until you have the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. Tomaj, how can I equip this great treasure you bestowed on me? Ask. Easy. Learn by doing. Let's give it a try. Alright. You can acquire new licenses anytime you like from the party menu. First, you must decide whose licenses you want to examine. I don't see anyone else here, so it looks like that means you. Oh, we're gonna click on this. This is the license board. It shows you which licenses you already have. Ah, uh, you've acquired them with a star, blah blah blah. I acquired steel. Steel from one foe. And then he's scrolling down to what stuff I can wear. Leather clothing, leather cap. Mithril stored and Mithril Blade. Looks like right now you can equip leather and leather caps and Mithril Swords and you have the technique to steal from your foes. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> mm. Mithril Blade. But a license isn't enough. Did you notice how the Mithril Blade was darkened? That's because you don't have one in your inventory. You need to buy magics from a magic shop, arms from a smithy, before you're able to put those licenses to use. And it doesn't matter which one you get first, magic is equipment or the license to use them, so long as you have both. You can use any magic as any techniques in your possession as long as you acquire the necessary license. But you'll have to equip weapons and armor before they'll do you any good. Okay. So, let's take a look. I can acquire any license that's next to one you've already had. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, Libra. Can't use that. First aid, can't use that. But there's the Ochia amulet. Let's select it, yes. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, come on. There we go. Now that has unlocked this area of stuff. On guard tomorrow ring. Bengal still gore it and cure and blind which we're going to be getting next we need a cure and then work up on license points to 15 uh, what do you need to show me press square to open ah uh, yeah yeah we we don't need to see that Uh, remember that all you shouldn't have trouble taking it down your marker to the blah 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 blah. I say you're ready to hunt that muck for me. Oh and you'll be needing this to leave the city. A writ of transit. At the east gate you'll want to head out once you have taken care of that muck for me. Blah 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 blah. Now we can exit the city. Well, into the, the one area, pretty much. Alright, let's equip the armlet. Accessory. There we go. We can use helm, offhand, weapon, da da da. 
high licenses. So we got very little to go on. The world map we can now see. Quite a nice little area of stuff. And the clan primer. Shows us our hunts. Which is the one we need to do. And bestiary. The more enemies we kill of certain uh, species, we're, un we're able to unlock a second page. At least from what I can remember. Sky Pirate's Den. Here is Mablanc. Rewarded after completing the 50 chain in battle in the first video. Unrelenting. Traveler's Tips. Here is all the stuff for the tutorials. And that is that. Now, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the magic we were going to get beforehand. Also, we need to start talking, exploring the whole city. Talk to everybody. Everybody. In all the shops, everyone. That's going to take a long process. And if something happens to... Uh, well, we can't buy that yet. Balls. Looks like we need 50 gil. Is there anything I can sell? I really need that 50 gil. I'm gonna sell a potion. I sell one rat pelt and one potion. We have to have one cure. Okay, we're going to start above here, then work our way down. If I run into an interesting NPC, I will leave it in. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? What's going on? Oh, Vaughn, how are you doing? Da 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 da. Oh. Oh, what is this? That is weird. Let's see. This is... Um, oh, what is this? It has to do with bounties and the bosses you progress through in the game. Ah, if you've got your primer. So you have. Well, what are you standing in? Go on, on in. Can't quite recall your face. Oh, you knew. Might want to pay special heed to what the folks have to say inside. Yep, I'm going in. There is my Blanc. He runs the place. And it's slow. Ugh. A new member. My name is Bestent. I am a new hunter here. In the clan. Clan Centurio. Pleased to meet you. All right, let's talk to Mablanc. Kupo, yours is a new face. Are you a hunter? Welcome to our clan hall. I'm Mablanc, founder of the Clan Centurion. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Our clan has very strict entrance examinations. We should begin yours at once. And you pass. 
Well, goes all quick to make up their minds. <laughs> Here in the clan hall, you'll hear about especially dangerous marks you won't even find posted on any board the moment they rear their ugly heads. We'll get on with filing the necessary clan membership certificates. I be finished in no time flat. I nearly forgot now that you are a member, you can make purchases from our clan shop in the Mithru Bazaar. Be sure to stop by Kubo. Happy hunting. Uh, da -da. Yep, they bring bounties that they won't have posted on your... on the boards. And they're usually hard for that level, for that area. But since this is a Final Fantasy game and I am a Final Fantasy connoisseur, I do a lot of grinding, a lot of leveling up. If yeah, I told you where I was, I'd be in trouble. Do, 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 do. Hey there, little Moogle. Damn, I do wish there was more species variety, as in characters you can have in your party. I would love to have one of these little Moogles and make him like a large sorcerer. But only a grand total of six characters that you can have in your party. Well, as in generalization, but you can only have three members in the active battle party. Okay, I think we've fully explored this top part, which is good. We shall explore the side area. Hopefully we'll run into something interesting. Now I know that there is somebody at this fountain from what I can remember that gives you a little side quest but I don't know when they show up. Could you... Oh, let's see what he asked. Made it from the Esther Sand just before they closed the gate but my friend was stopped before he can get through. Could you take him something for me? Yeah, sure. Excellent. You should find him just outside the east gate. And don't go selling that to... Blah, 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 small package. Yep, there's a little side quest right there. But that was not the person I was talking about. There's somebody, like, sitting on the fountain. I think it has... Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh. Maybe I should use a lighter recording system. Maybe using Freps might... is probably increasing all this. like the way the shops look like. It, it doesn't look half-assed and there's all kinds of items all over the place of their respective shops. Make it look like it's an actual shop instead of a crappy one. Miss Penella will get her later on in the game. Oh, look at that little Moogle. I need to see over the counter. I, I can't. I can't see it. A little Moogle back there. <laughs> oh, I really love the character design here. Oh, and there's like a little secret hidden quest thing that has to deal with Miguelo every time you come back to him after something big. Uh, I gotta look that up. Kites is back. He's been on the tender hooks forever since he walked in the door. Well, so long as he's not up to any mischief. And here's him. What's wrong? Aren't you going out to get that rogue tomato? Better hurry before the ceremony starts.
You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this. Now let's go ahead and give it this guy, it should be this one. My companion and I arrived together, but they singled out my goods for inspection. I've been held up here all day. You came from the city, yes? Did a bingo merchant happen to give you an item to deliver? Yep. Well, what do you know, my thanks boy? You've helped me out of a type spot you'd have. Heading into the desert, are you? Best watch yourself out there. Getting any fights, just be sure to keep well healed. Mind your wounds, or the next blow will take you be your last. Had myself caught up on the tail at a time or two. And let's go ahead and save. This shall be it of this episode, and the next one we'll start doing some fighting. And I'm going to start doing some fighting off camera and save it on a different thing. So, I'm Roaring the Werewolf. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!